Hi, my name is Alan Ewell on the Waterfly Fishing Travel, and today we're going to tie the crustacean reduction pattern. This is a bonefish pattern that uh, uh, you can tie in a variety of weights and a variety of different colors, uh, and bonefish seem to really eat it up in a, a number of destinations, Mexico, Belize, and uh, Cuba, etc. So let's get started. Tie your thread in about two hook eye behind the uh, eye of the hook and figure eight uh, bead chain eyes onto the top of the hook. This fly rides hook point up. Do eight, uh, eight turns on one side, then eight turns on the other, and then eight to post up the bead. And then four on one side, four on another side, and four to post up the bead. End with your, uh, your thread behind the eye. And then uh, to tie in your flash, I use eight strands of, uh, of midge flash center it over the hook, bend it over the hook, tie back to the bend of the hook, uh, ending your thread uh, over the barb, and then trim so that it's about the hook gap in length, then move your thread back so that it's across from the point of the hook, and we're going to tie in our mono eyes. Now you want to take your pliers and bend them so that they're about 45 degrees, and then tie it in on each side of the hook. We want to have the mono on both sides so that it builds up a bit of bulk. And then end with your, your thread across from the, the hook point again. Grab one strand of, uh, of your silly legs and cut it in half. So now you have two strands of silly legs, shorter. And then wrap that around the thread and bind down on top so that it extends uh, over the eye and uh, on top of the, the crystal flash. And the length is perfect. So now you want to uh, bring your thread back behind uh, the bead chain and tie in your mohair and then bind that down, back down the shank, ending across from the, the barb or wrapping your threads back up, up the shank, ending in front of the eye. Now we want to palmer wrap our mohair forward and make sure not to trap the stray fibers if you can. So we just want to close wrap that, building up a body all the way up behind the eye, then figure eight over the eye, and then bring it around the shank and tie in and cut it off. Now using a, a dubbing brush, get that buggy looking, pull those fibers out and really scruff it up. It really adds to the, uh, the fishability of the fly. You can't be too rough with it. <laughs> the fish will be rough with it. So. Now if you've got a rotary vise, turn the, turn the fly over in the vise so the, the bead chain eyes are on the bottom. And grab another piece of silicone, your silicone legs, again one strand, cut that in half. So you've got two shorter strands, and wrap that around your thread and bind that to the top of the hook so it's a wing that extends over, over the barb and over the point of the hook so it's extending back towards the back. Build up a thread head and then whip finish and, uh, and cut your thread. The nice thing about this is if you tie in your silly legs, like I, I said, you don't need to trim them that uh, perfect length. And now using head cement or UV cure or uh, hard as hull, there's a number of different, just coat, coat your thread head, give it a, a zap with the torch and uh, you're done. You're done your crustacean reduction. So now you can head out on the water, fill your box with those, and, uh, and go catch some bonefish. In bigger sizes, they work great for, uh, for permit, and uh, fish love them.